This is a 300 acre research farm at which I'm the farm manager. For 20 years, we have conducted a landmark study in American and world agriculture, growing corn and soybeans, both with chemical inputs and without. We have been able to demonstrate that comparable crop yields can be obtained organically while protecting our land, food, and water. Family farms are at a real crossroads in America today. Uh, the soil is eroding, the input costs are skyrocketing, and farmers really need, need to make a decision on how they're going to stay in business. Here we are able to help them examine alternative farming practices which can allow them to thrive. This is a working farm where our research is conducted under real life conditions in order to help farmers address the challenges of converting from conventional to organic. I've shown these fields hundreds of times to groups of farmers and government agricultural officials. The fields show that the chemicals which slowly poison farmers and the environment and whose costs may drive farmers out of business are not necessary. Uh, the bottom line in terms of crop yields, the last five out of the last six years have been drought years. Five out of the last six years, the organic plots have out yielded the conventional plots. How can productivity be maintained without fertilizers and crops protected without pesticides? The answer is revealed by a comparison of soils. The soil just falls off of the organic soil plots much easier. It's not nearly as dry and hard as these conventional soils because they've been farmed with chemicals. Uh, continuous cropping, same crop year after year after year in the organic system it's a much more diverse rotation. More importantly is the fine root hairs. This enables the plant to take up nutrients, to hold water, and to produce a, a cob of corn. To create such soil we rely primarily on diverse crop rotation assisted by winter cover crops like red clover and hairy vetch. Last summer this was a wheat plot. Now it's a vetch plot. Next summer it's going to be a corn plot. Alfalfa, clovers, they all fix nitrogen from the air into the soil, which you can see in the nodules that are fixed on the bottom of the root where it meets the ground. They're filled with nitrogen. Next year, when this plant dies, these nodules release the nitrogen back into the soil, and the uh, plant that we plant in there will use it as a fertilizer source to grow. Composting is another important technique. It stabilizes manure, thereby increasing soil microbial activity. Compost is soil food, putting the nutrients into a form the soil can digest and thus making the nutrients more available to the plant. It also retards harmful excess nitrates in the manure from leaching into the groundwater. In the organic corn, we save more money because we're not purchasing all the inputs. So even if we sell the corn at the same price at the, in the marketplace, the farmer who produces the organic corn earns more money because he's not spending as much to buy inputs. And if we can sell our products as certified organic products, the marketplace in the United States is rewarding us with about a two to one premium. So if our conventional corn is worth two U.S. dollars a bushel, the organic corn is worth four U.S. dollars a bushel. Farmers are seeking ways to stay on their farms and to avoid the handling of toxic chemicals. Consumers are increasingly conscious that pesticides in food have been linked with degenerative diseases such as arthritis and cancer. Farmers can make a substantial contribution to the well-being of people by supplying healthy food grown on healthy soil. They need to be supported in that work with knowledge about how conversion to organic practices can help them both sustain their farms and become stewards of the land for future generations.